Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. Uh, this is another example of eigenvalue and eigenvector where we have given matrix A here and we have to find out the eigenvector, possible eigenvector for this matrix and we have given we have been given the options, the options are this. So we have to find out eigenvector for this matrix. Okay. So we will start with finding out the characteristic matrix. <coughs> so we will just solve it by A A minus lambda i. Okay. That is equal to zero, which is equal to five minus lambda and zero zero zero. Uh, 0, 5 minus lambda, 5, 0, 0, 0, 2 minus lambda, 1, 0, 0, 3, 1 minus lambda. Okay. So, no, 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 not matrix. This is determinant. This is equal to 0. Now, when we solve this, okay. So, when we solve this, it will be equal to after solving this determinant as this is equal to 0 okay we can directly say see as this this entire row is the entire column except this is 0 so we have only 5 minus lambda to solve with this 3 cross 3 determinant we have to forget this okay because except this all the values are 0 here except this all the values are 0 right so here we will solve for this now again this two values are zero so we will solve for five minus lambda only so again five minus lambda okay and here two minus lambda into one minus lambda and minus three okay so it will be two minus lambda into one minus lambda minus three okay this will be like this fine so this is equal to zero okay so here after solving here we have one value of lambda is 5 here we will get 5 and we will have to solve this quadratic equation okay so the value of lambda will become 5 5 and after solving this we will get 3 plus minus under root of 13 upon 2 this is a quadratic equation just solve it you will get <coughs> this value okay so for this 4 cross 4, ma four matrix we have we have four eigenvalues that is 5 5 and here 2 right so these are the eigenvalues now start let's put lambda equal to 5 lambda equal to 5 and find out the eigenvector okay it's not necessary that by solving with lambda equal to 5 you will get this answer you will get the correct option but let's start with lambda equal to 5 so once we put this value so it will be equal to 5 minus 5 then 0 0 0 this is 0 this is again 5 minus 5 and 5 0 0 0 2 minus 5 and 1 0 0 3 and 1 minus 5 okay so this is now a matrix and we will multiply this with x1 x2 x3 x4 you can also choose any variable that's that depends on you equal to 0 okay so 0 means 0 0 0 0 fine so now we have to solve this equation so after once you solve once you multiply this this it will be equal to it will become 0 okay so first for first multiplication we won't get anything okay similarly for second we will get 5 minus 5 into x3 okay so it will become we will get equation like 5 into x3 this is also 0 right let's write it so this will become 0 this will become 0 this will become minus 3 this will minus 4 great now let's solve it so first row is entirely 0 so this will be 0 entire thing the product will be 0 okay after multiplication so let's do it first otherwise so it's 0 now second row is 0 into minus x uh, 0 into x1 0 into x2 5 into x3 so it will be 5 x3 now third row if you multiply 0 0 this will be minus x3 minus of 3 x3 
plus of x4 okay and for the last it will be 3x3 x3 okay and minus of 4x4 okay so this is my determinant after multiplication which is equal to 0 0 0 0 okay so now we can equate individual elements by 0 okay so x3 5x3 equal to 5x3 equal to 0 it means that x3 equal to 0 now we got x3 equal to 0 now if we solve one of the equation that is 3 minus 3 into 0 plus x4 equal to 0 right so again we will get x4 equal to 0 fine so from by solving this we have got that from in this vector in this vector this x1 x2 may be anything but x3 and x4 will be 0 fine so this is our solution this 2 can be any value any value okay because this vector is entirely independent now we will check whether do we have some possible option like this okay so if we go to our options here it is saying that x3 x4 equal to 0 and this is 1 and minus 2 so this is one of the correct option we will we don't have to go for the next options we have only condition that x3 and x4 should be equal to 0 rest can be any value okay so this is a correct option fine so this was the problem to be solved uh, and finding out the eigenvector fine oh. so quite lengthy procedure okay the uh, fortunately your this matrix was also very easy so many zeros so less calculation were there but just imagine if there are so many uh, integral values except 0 then it will be difficult so we have one very important shortcut to solve these kind of problem where you have given the option what you will do you choose one of the option and you just take the multiplication with this given matrix okay so let's start with the first one 1 minus 2 0 and 0 okay so if you multiply this what you will get you will get just let's multiply so this will be 5 the first one will be 5 and the second one will be uh, minus 10 yes and then this this is 0 and 0 fine so this will be multiplication result now from this vector we can take something common okay what we can take common is if you take 5 common it will be 1 and it will be minus 2 okay now once you take something common okay so this 2 will become equal if such is the case that after taking common the vector from which you multiply the original vector okay original matrix becomes equal these two becomes equal then this is this is a correct eigenvector of this matrix got my point I will repeat myself once you multiply a vector with this matrix okay whatever result you get if you take something common okay if you take something common there may be case that some nothing is coming out common but if you get something some value common and you get this original vector from which you multiplied this to equal then it means that this was a this was a correct eigenvector okay here you are getting 5 common out which is basically a eigen eigen value okay this will be eigen eigen value okay so this is the property which you should remember and you can easily solve this problem so the only first property will satisfy this and you can directly solve this two mark question in within 30 seconds and tell that this is the correct answer right so what is the property for a eigenvector if for a matrix A if we take some x okay so it will be equal to lambda times of the x 
okay you have to remember this so this is basically what this is eigen vector this is eigen value okay and this is same eigen vector i'll write same eigen vector okay so i hope this is clear now this is important property to remember just mark it as star fine so if you have any doubt or any question ask your question in doubt section hope you have understand it you will enjoy solving problem now using this kind of shortcut so thanks for watching see you in the next lecture